Hey everyone, it's Alex here. Welcome to our tutorial part number two, Customize Your Spread Shop. Um, this time we're gonna have a more in-depth look at what we can do with HTML and CSS in our shop. So first let's take a look at what we're gonna do today. Um, here's our shop we created the last time, you might remember. Um, this time we're gonna have some special menus in our shop you can see them here on the left one menu for products and one for our network all our social sites we have and we can do this by um, creating some HTML and CSS and let's jump into the back end of Spreadshirt I'm gonna show you where you can do this and how you can do this okay here we are on the back end you go to my account click on shops and once again um, we will work uh, in here in appearance so this time we're gonna use header and footer and CSS so this is the section where we can work with HTML you should keep in mind that HTML is always responsible for the content you're gonna show and CSS is gonna um, be responsible for how our content we created is gonna look like so we should separate these both and um, we should try to keep them separated, really separated, because that's that's um, a better style. Okay, so now that we have the header and footer, you should first scroll down here and click on activate header and footer, so we make sure our HTML can be seen in the web page. And in another tab, we're gonna open the CSS navigation. We're gonna open. Uh, open it here so we can work in two tabs that's gonna make our work um, a little bit easier also one thing I want to show you is um, a little bookmark that I created that's called spread my code and if I am in the header and footer section and I click on spread my code I will have a little bit nicer um, code editor so working will be a little bit easier if you haven't worked with header and footer before, um, you will see this template here, and it's gonna provide all the links in the head you will need. So it's gonna um, link to all the CSS files uh, we need, and it's gonna link to our own CSS file. So we'll leave it like that, and we will work in the body. First, if we want to create this, I wanted to have um, that our shop stays in the middle of the page. So it's it's centered in the page, and the flyout menus we're gonna create are gonna be on the left side, so they won't push the shop to the side, but the shop will stay in the center. First, we need something around um, our shop, so let's create a div, and let's give it an ID of container. And we're gonna close this div in the shop footer. Click on save. Now we have a created uh, we have created a container around our shop. Um, what we want to do next is we're gonna push in all the HTML we can have for our menus we're gonna create, and then we're gonna style them via the CSS. So now that we have our container, let's create another div with an ID of sidebar and close this. Um, one word for IDs and classes. Now we are using IDs because um, this element is only going to appear once in our page, so we can use IDs. If we use um, an element more than once, we call this a class, so we can use it several times. So this sidebar is going to hold everything um, on the left of our page. Inside here we're going to create several sections where we can put our menus in. And so we're going to use a class, a class of, let's call it, section. And if we take a look at what we're going to do, you will see we'll have some headlines over here. So let's make this a headline. I'm going to make this a headline of H4 and call it product. 
Um, I use an H4 because I looked at the um, at the source code of the Spreadshirt shop, and I saw that they're um, used headlines up to H3, and because I want this to be um, lower down in the hierarchy, I uh, give it an H4. Now we'll do the 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 box that's going to hold our navigation. This should also be a div of class box. And inside this box, I want our navigation to appear. Now, even if this doesn't look like a list, um, like like a list with bullet points or something else, it is a list because it's um, a listing of all the products we have on our page. So let's make this a list in HTML. So it's an unordered list. So it's a UL. Let's close this. And the different points in here will be LIs for list elements. And inside this we will have our links. So a link is made of A href equals. And then the text we want um, to be linked. So ladies first, let's first link to women. Let's close the li and another li where we link to man. Okay, so this is the HTML for navigation. Let's give this a little bit more space so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Um, now if we take a look at what we did, let's say first, if we take a look at what we did, this is the, the shop we have right now, you will see all the HTML is above our shop. That's not what we want, we're gonna correct this with CSS later. But um, what we also have to do is we have to provide the links, um, the links should go to. So let's take this navigation and navigate to all the women's products and I'm gonna copy the link to these products. Um, I think you couldn't see this right from the browser bar here and let's paste in in the href attribute. And let's also do this with the man product. Copy the link and paste it in the href attribute. Let's go back to our shop. Let's reload. And even if does it if it doesn't look like as it should, if we click these links now, it's gonna go, for example, to all the women's products. That's okay. So in chapter two, I'm going to show you how to create the CSS.